right, guess what I'm doing today? I'm going to finish my uh, vault. Actually, let me just move this thing up here because I'm a bit tall. <laughs> well, you know, not as tall as like some people out there. But... So we're, we're going to finish all the vault things. Last time I did the uh, SMG rifle category, got all the SMGs and bolt actions and whatever. But now we're going to do the final, which is the support category. And there's not much to do here, just machine gun and ordnance. Uh, so let's uh, start. All right, we got a lot of machine guns here. Not all of them can be customized. I only know, I think maybe the M249 could probably get some attachments, but uh, you know, the other ones might have some secret stuff on there. But first, before I do anything else, I just want to check something out. I know like I, uh, said uh, last time, or not last time, but uh, one of those times, uh, you could attach suppressors and stuff to the minigun here. But I just want to see if uh, bayonets work. We'll just uh, start off with the uh, Enfield, not the Einfeld, <laughs> and the, uh, what, is, what was this one? Uh, the Mosin? All right, let me just see if this works. Uh... Yeah, sort of. I was expecting uh, the, the bayonet to scale up to the barrel. Because, again, when you put a suppressor on this thing or uh, any other attachment, any muzzle device, the... the Let me just try to take this off. <laughs> like I said, uh, like I demonstrated earlier... Uh, not earlier, but a while ago. See, it scales up. So what I was thinking was the bayonet would scale up. It would... Uh, <laughs> no, we get a little spike at the end here. Or if I try the Mosin bayonet. Let's see if this thing... Yeah, there we go. Pretty nice. You can jab things. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like that. I don't know if you saw that. That was a pretty bad demonstration. But yeah. That's okay. I mean, uh, this, this still is hilarious, though. If you decide to put a muzzle brake or a barrel extension or uh, any other kind of device uh, in the muzzle device category. It just makes it gigantic. Let me just get a Cobra here. See? See what I mean? Look at that. That looks pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> Although, uh, let me unscrew this. Get out of there. Uh, I can put an Uzi Pro in here. It looks a lot, it looks a lot better with the Uzi Pro. Let me just uh, test this out. Oops, where is my wall here? I need to find the center of my play space. Let me just uh, move over a bit here. There we go. Nice. Look at that red hot barrel. All right, well, let me get rid of this for now. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Oh, the trash can. You know what I wish Anton would do? I wish he would move the trash can closer to uh, the item spawner because, uh, oops, it'd be really nice if I, uh, if we had the trash can like right here, but it's also pretty, uh, you know, pretty fun to try to throw the guns on there. <laughs> but anyway, so let's get to customizing. Uh, it's probably going to be a short video since there's not much to customize, but I actually want to try something. Uh, let's see. Let's spawn a Bren right now. And let's spawn some attachments that I know that can probably go on the Bren. Let's get a Uzi suppressor. Oh, nope, you can't do that. Maybe one of the retro. I thought you could, but I guess you can't put a uh, a uh, suppressor on this. Let's try one of these retro ones. No. What about extenders? Let's try a long one. This will probably not work. Nope. So that means that the muzzle brakes won't work, which is kind of sad. But, yeah. 
Can't do much with that. Let's try something else. Maybe, uh, maybe that's just because that's a classic weapon. Let's try a DP-28, the dinner plate. I don't think this will work. Nope. Oh, I almost made it. <laughs> it's hard throwing a rifle around. Uh, hand crank Frank is probably not going to do anything, but that would be funny if Anton decided to add suppressor mounts and um, muzzle brakes and whatever. But yeah, you can't do much with that. Let's just get rid of these. I don't want my computer slowing down. We did the minigun. What about the BAR? I don't think this is going to work. Oh, it does. Well, that's nice. Oh, come on. Uh, no. Down on the touchpad. Barrel extender. Yep. And, of course, that will work. The suppressor will work with that. It's pretty cool. I actually want to see if it uh, changes the sound a bit. Uh, maybe I should spawn lock this. Oh, sounds like there's something happening outside. Uh, hopefully you didn't hear that. The dogs are barking. But, uh, oh, uh, did I not put a suppressor on this thing? I completely forgot. Ah, oh, come on. You can do it. There we go. Let's see what the BAR sounds like with the suppressor. Hopefully I have it set on fast fire. Oh, that was, yeah, that was fast. Grab the carry, carrying handle. I love that. Well, the carry handles are all floppy now. That was introduced in one of the updates. I can't remember which. But you can just, like, carry it from the carry handle. Or you can use the uh, foregrip if you want. It's up to you. You have a lot of freedom in this game, which I love. Sounds pretty cool with the suppressor. But the magazine size is just a uh, little uh, too small for me, personally. Although I love the BAR. It's, it's really cool. Let me just try to add a uh, rail extension. And, come on. Oh, it's so tall. I muzzle brake. Pull out the, the bipod. Uh, did I chamber around in there? Nope. Okay, good. Let's try it out. <laughs> that was pretty fast. Again, magazine size is a little too small. Oh, I just got rid of those. That's okay. All right, so the M249, that's what I'm gravitating towards as one of my, uh, one of the vault guns that I'm going to save. But I want to try the tombstone, see if any attachments work for this. Hmm, no. Classic? Nope. So definitely no attachments. I don't think any of these muzzle brakes will work. Although I couldn't be surprised. Nope. Yeah, so if that doesn't work, the extender doesn't work, which I will spawn anyways. Still a pretty fun, uh, whatchamacallit, machine gun. And I'm going to, oh, shoot this off because it's always fun. This game is always fun. Nope, nope, give me, give me, no, nope, nope. There we go. Yeah, because I, I was, I think the rear ball on the, uh, interaction, the interaction sphere was... Grabbing that magazine, yeah, see. Whoop. That's bad. <laughs> oh no, it still works. Okay. I thought that would have uh, severed the link inside the, um, the ammo can, but I guess not. Fire this one handed. There we go. <laughs> I 
always love firing this. 50 caliber M2 tombstone. All right, the M60, uh, there's no attachable rails or anything to this. But I think you can put, uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, you can put uh, suppressors and stuff on there. So, yeah, not much about that. The MG42, I don't think you can. Nope. That doesn't work. This won't. Yep, that doesn't work. So, yeah, none of these work. Uh, very fun. You'll see other people use them, uh, you know. That's cool. The RPD. Now, I think this is a little bit more modern, so you can put suppressors on this. Yep. That's pretty cool. Although, it doesn't have that many attach points for stuff. Like I said, I'm probably going to gravitate towards the M249. But I do love the fact that the... Um, the uh, RPD uh, loads from the other side, which is uh, pretty cool. Trying to find out where these sights are here. Just use the tracers, you know? <laughs> of course, what does it look like with a muzzle attachment such as the I don't know the bomber here we go we'll try the bomber huh pretty cool I don't know what's going on outside all these dogs are barking okay uh yeah so like I said I was probably gonna go with the m249 because it has at least a uh, top-mounted rail you could stick stuff on. All right. Let's spawn a box here. One of these will not... Oh, we'll just do shoulder. There we go. Yeah, ignore the thing I said about the... Uh, <laughs> the the, uh, the RPD. Uh, yeah, the, uh, I forgot that the M249 also loads from the other side. Which is... Um, yeah. That was kind of dumb of me to not realize that, but I completely forgot. I'm not even aiming down the sights, am I? I'm just using the tracers. <laughs> oh, this is such a fun gun. Um... Yeah, so what am I going to put on this thing? I'm actually re uh, really debating on whether using, uh, on I'm going to use the box magazine, or, you know, the belt box, or the, um, one of these big, uh, big magazines. Ooh, 100 rounds. Let me just, uh, get rid of this, put that away. For now, at least. Spawn this thing with a 100 round magazine. Oh, it's on the other side. But, before we do any of that, let's actually add some attachments. Hmm. <laughs> Stick an underbarrel on this thing. I could if I wanted to. I don't know if I do. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Because I'd have to build a crazy contraption that goes down. And then over here, or maybe mount it off to the side. Which would look kind of strange. Uh, should I get a grenade launcher <laughs> on this thing? No, no, no. Let's just keep it a little bit, uh, a little bit more simple than that. Oh, uh, what do I get? What should I use? Oh, man. ACOG would be really nice, but I kind of like the Ghost DR for this. Simply because it has a one-time... Or a 1x power. But then if you want a little distance, you switch to 4. And if all, if all that fails, you have iron sights on top. So I kind of like that. 
move this over front there. Um, huh, what else can I put on this thing? I'm going to put a muzzle brake on this. I mean, I could I could stick with a a suppressor, but uh, yeah, you know, I like the sound of the M249. <laughs> so I don't know which one to choose. I really do like the bomber, the sort of angled muzzle brake that you get off of, like you know, uh, what should we call it? The the Barrett, but uh, slide just okay. Hmm, Cobra. Let's try the Cobra. That on there. Let's try the bomber. Let's try Sharon. Now, let's throw that away. Put this baby back on. And maybe I should move that uh, steel a little bit back. Okay. Missing every shot. Okay, that's out. I don't know why that flew that far, but it's okay. Stick another box magazine on there. All right, what else can I put on this thing? Uh, I might go with the uh, the Sharon muzzle brake. I don't know how you pronounce that. Was that Charon? Uh, the ferryman, right? The river sticks. <laughs> uh, yeah. The Greek. Greek legend. Or, uh, sorry, what is it called? I forgot what it's called. All right, so what else can I put on this thing? Um, you know, maybe I would like a laser sight. <laughs> but I'm really, I don't know if I want a laser sight on this thing. We can do a rail axis tilt. Stick that on this side. Oh no, come on. Give me a good, uh... Nope, that's a little too much. Oh no, come on. It's so hard to put a... A, uh, uh, attachment onto the rails. But, uh... Let's see, tactical laser one. I mean, I, I like all these other tactical lasers, but, uh, you know, they, they really go well on pistols. But sticking a tactical laser with those uh, of those designs, uh, you know. Maybe I should put it in the front. Wait, am I grabbing the right thing? Come on. There we go. A laser on there. I don't know if you can actually see it. Oh, there it is. Come on, get that last one. Oh, I'm just missing. I'm just doing this one-handed, by the way. It's terrible. Should always uh, grab it by two hands. All right. Pretty cool. I mean, I would put it in the front somewhere, but uh, actually, you know what? Let's just try this. Let's do uh, let's do something unique here. I don't think this is gonna work because uh, come on, yeah, that's fine. And we'll stick this laser sight here. I don't think this is gonna work because you got the front post here. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. That's not gonna work. 
That's not going to work at all. So. Actually, I think I might put this up in the front somewhere. Give this a little bit. Uh, let's uh, move this back a bit there. Forward. Side a bit. Uh, that's not going to work. I need to. I need to get this right. So, Just excuse me for a minute here while I fumble around with this. Uh, with this. All right. I wonder what happens if you uh, raise this with a laser sight. Oh, that's pretty cool. It moves. The laser dot moves when you raise it up. That's pretty cool. I mean, obviously it's supposed to do that, but I just I just find that it's pretty cool that that happens. Oh, something's blocking it. Yeah, there it is. All right. I'm not going to do much with this one because, uh, I mean, it's perfect as it is. Oh, actually, well, you know what? I gotta, I'm going to put a fresh box into this thing. And uh, so I can save it in the vault with a full, fresh box magazine. Huh, what happened to that? other one. Oh, well, that's okay. Just need to stick another magazine on this thing. Or a box. Box of uh, ammunition. Mm. No. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put a uh, <laughs> grenade launcher on this thing. Might as well bring my own. Oh, come on. There we go. And, uh, alright. So I'm gonna stick this on there with a fresh box magazine. Scan this. My categories are almost there. I have one more left. Keep those for attachments. Go to support. And now we're going to ordinance. All right. There's a lot of stuff here, but some of them you can't really customize that much. Uh, so the ones I knew, I, I do know that you can customize are the Colibri. 9001, the MGL, the RPG-7, and I think you can, you might be able to customize the, thump, uh, the thumper. I'm not too sure. But uh, I just want to try out something first. Let's just try this. Yeah, this is not definitely going to work, so uh, I'm just going to fire this off. Oh, where is the safety on this thing? Nope. Oh, it's on already. All right. There we go. I had to pull the hammer back. <laughs> the H69. Definitely, you can't do anything with a bazooka, which is, yeah, it's too bad. But you know what? I'm going to fire it anyways because, oh, it needs to go in the back here. There we go. And, uh, yeah, this is a pain to fire off because this is originally for right-handed soldiers. So... I don't know, you can't see me aiming down with my right eye. But yeah, all the sights are on the right side. I, I'm really not a fan of it from using it in the game, but uh, it's, you know, I mean, it's still pretty cool. The bazooka. <laughs> the uh, M320, which uh, uh, one day I really hope that Anton will um, will make these so that they are attachable to the uh, to the rifles and stuff because this looks pretty cool but you can't really do much with this now just testing that out the thumper now I don't know if you can uh, you can do anything with this no nope. but it's still pretty cool in fact it would have probably been my uh, pick to save in the vault, but, you know, other things came along that are kind of better. Now, the MGL, I know you can customize. I'll save that for later. The Panzer Shrek, uh, again, a cool, cool little uh, rocket launcher, but it's built for right-handed people, so not really that great for me. 
There we go. So I'm just gonna fire this blind here. Oh, I missed. <laughs> All right, what else? The uh, RGM, which is over there, coincidentally. I don't know why I should spawn one. But uh, yeah, I don't know if this actually accepts accessories. Nope, it does not. But uh, yeah, okay. I prefer the um, the one you can attach to uh, other weapons, but that's, you know. Now the RPG-7, I said you can attach stuff to it, but what you need is the rail adapter, the Russian to Picatinny, which is there. Or you can use the, um, the Russian reflex sights here, like the Cobra. Let's grab this. And it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's a little little weird, but, you know, I don't think you can lower those sights. It would be really cool if you could. You need to talk to Anton about that. Maybe have the, either these sights disappear when you stick a, a uh, Russian Picatinny or one of the uh, reflex sights onto the gun, or have these fold down, which would be really nice. Let's just stick a Russian Picatinny on this thing. Stick it a little farther here. Oh no, it's just going to be like that, I guess. And, uh, oh man. The stuff I do with this sometimes, I don't know, uh, I didn't really show it off, but what I would do is I would take a rail axis shift, right? Since I am left-handed and there are no sights here on the side, what I would do is build me a little thing which will take some time. I don't think I'm going to do it today, but uh, yeah, I was uh, usually I would take a rail axis shift and then no, no, no. Actually, no, let's not do these. Let's do a tiny. There we go. And then can I, no, nope. actually I do need this. <laughs> this put it off like that and then I think it was like this but then I would also do a rail axis tilt and then stick a reflex sight onto this thing don't know which one though because there's so many choices. Hmm. Red dot compact? Would that, would that work? Where are you? <laughs> there you are. I was looking for you. I'm going to stick it on the side like that. As you can see, you get a little nice red dot sight. And I need actually rockets for this, so... don't know why I didn't spawn any. Stick that rocket on there. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, there we go. Oh, I missed. Spawn another one. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> and, uh, well, you know what? I think I should put a laser on this thing. I'm not, I'm not going to save it, but I just wanted to do it. Let's stick a laser on here. Let's try a uh, tactical laser. Oh, I need a um, a rail axis shift here. Where is that? Go to the adapters. So, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. I mean to do that. Stick this here. Oh, I I didn't really need this. I don't know why I needed this. Let's put it here. Laser really wanted to. Uh, let's go back to the RPG. And... Oh, I missed. Well, you get the idea. But yeah, so if you didn't know about that, you can stick a uh, Russian sight on here, or the Russian 2 Picatinny adapter, and do that. Uh, Alright. Not gonna spawn. 
But uh, yeah, so um, pretty much what I'm probably going to choose is the MGL. Oh, some sounds like uh, people are home. <laughs> but I'm going to choose the MGL here. Let's add some grenades. I'll just use this one too. All right. And then what am I going to put as an attachment here? Like I said, this is like the most customizable one. You can you can stick suppressors on here wherever it is. I don't know what happened to it. But let's just uh, let's get a suppressor for this. Uh Let's see. PBS one? No, no, let's not use that one. Let's use the Ooh. PP2000. <laughs> little suppressor on it. I don't know why I want to put a suppressor on a grenade launcher. But, yeah. I'm just going to do that. Maybe. I might take it off. I, I don't know. And a... <clears throat> reflex sight. Oh, actually, you know what? I think maybe I should go with... Oh, I already used the, the Ghost DR, right? Oh, well... That's going to be terrible. Oh, it's a Car 98 scope. Okay. Hmm, no. Again, this is really good for long range engagements as well, since you got that one times magnification or the four. Plus iron sights. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I might, I might stick with a Ghost DR. And then. Under barrel. Huh. Which one is the short one again? The car key? Put this down there? Yes, I can. It's gonna be a little weird. Come on. There we go. There we go. This grenade, uh, sorry, grenade shotgun shell. Oh, nope. Don't want to do that. Come on. Okay. Oh, I could have... Well, you know what? I was like... <laughs> could I put a laser on this thing? Yes, I can. Let's stick a laser on top of this. Always nice. A laser there. <laughs> Very uninventive. But, uh... And then, maybe, maybe I can add a couple more grenades. The side picket. I'm just going to go real crazy with this. You know what? I need, I need a weapon that I can go insane with. So I'm just going to put these two grenades there. Stick these grenades inside. <laughs> yeah, all, all of my, all of my vault save guns are, you know, kind of conservative. They're, they're really like, you know, just utilitarian, right? They're all, you know, laser sight, reflex sight. But not that many grenade launchers, bayonets. Oh, I should put a bayonet on this thing. Oh, but I want a suppressor. Which is kind of weird because I've got like a, a car key and two grenade launchers on the side here. Don't know why I would want to suppress this one, but I guess I'm just going to go with that. But yeah, like I said, my all my other weapons are very, you know, uh, whatchamacallit. They're very conservative but this one, I think I'm going to go a little hog wild with. I change the stock there. Oops. Nope. 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 Okay. Just making sure there's no safety on this thing. Because that would have been pretty weird. You can spin this like a revolver if you wanted to. Because it contains revolver code. And uh, yeah, let's fire this baby off. Oh, where's the target? Where are you? There you are. Oh, no, that's too close. And then if I run out of grenades, let's do these. And then for the ultimate protection, I have a car key at the bottom. Actually, you know what? Let's replace this. Let's go with the, ma uh, the house key. So let's grab a house key. 
this right there. Where is, oh, no, I'll just use this one. Oh, no, it's not down. It's, there we go. All right, let's reload this thing. I'm gonna eject it with the ejection rod. <laughs> it's a pain to reload because it got so much stuff there. <laughs> I'm out. Oh, no, this way. There we go. <laughs> All right. That is pretty cool. Oh, no. <sighs> Touchpad just keeps messing up. Left on the touchpad. There we go. Now let me just uh, empty these. Oh, no. Stick a couple more grenades in there and save this. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Just gonna stick that on there. It's a little top heavy. That's okay. Scan this. Uh, did I scan it? No, I want to scan it. There we go. Made launcher. I missed. <laughs> That's okay. All right. And uh, the last one, I'm not going to save, but the Colibri 9000. Let me just get rid of this box magazine here. Has some rails on it that you can still uh, you can put stuff on, and uh, yeah, it's always fun. But this one also comes with attachments. You can uh, you can actually I wait, actually I, I want to check something. Nope, nope, nope. I want bayonets. Let's see. This one, yeah, this one attaches bayonets on there, so you can have that. Or suppressor, if you wanted to. Actually, oh, I should have checked. <clears throat> well, I can do that right now. Since we have some time left. Let's grab this. I want to try and add a muzzle brake to this. I think it'll work. Yes, it does. Oh, maybe I should... Let me get this out of the way here. Maybe I should... Instead of the suppressor. Oh no, but that kind of ruins it. Let me just go back to the vault here. Let's try and grab the suppressor. And try a muzzle brake. Which is... Yeah. Hmm. Maybe not. Actually, let me uh, go with Uzi Pro here. Let's make this thing a little smaller. There we go. Okay. Not, I mean, yeah, it's a little too long with the uh, other one, the PP2000. Yeah. So I'm just going to save this again. Sorry about that. Just need to put this back. Hopefully all the ammunition is still there. That'd be kind of, be kind of bad if it wasn't. Oh, no. There's no ammunition in there. Oh, well. Oh, it's there. What about the... No, oh, that's... Yeah, I wish that would happen, but I guess the Anton will probably need to fix that. That's okay. If it wasn't there in the first place, well, it's not going to be there, so... Alright, so what was I uh, with the Colibri 9000? Yeah, so you can add uh, suppressors to this. Um, oh. I was going to spawn a muzzle brake anyways, but we'll just take that from there. Put a muzzle brake on this thing, yeah. If you really wanted to, there's a muzzle brake. But most people put a suppressor on this thing, so... Let's go with the Uzi suppressor. I think I've showed this off before, so... It's not, not something new, but... Like I said, it's one of the uh, ordnance, you know, grenade launchers that can be... 
uh, customized. You can add stuff. And now we've got like uh, under barrel attachments to it. So, yeah, you know, just want to mess around with that before I stop the video. And then I will stick a house key on the bottom here. If I didn't have that MGL, I would have probably went with this. Honestly, <laughs> to be honest. Just uh, six maze on here. I do have the magazine spawn lock, so. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to have some fun with this before I stop the video. And uh, get ready for Rot Wieners, which is coming tomorrow. Hopefully. <laughs> Nothing happens. Oh. I don't know. There we go. Where the laser is at. There is a laser on this gun, which comes from this thing there. So, if you wanted to, but... Pretty cool. Excellent. An excellent firearm. <laughs> Added to the game. All right. Well, I think that's all of the uh, many different weapons that I stuck into the vault. Oh, man. This thing's getting a little too full. Hold on. Come on, there we go. And I don't know why this isn't... There we go. He's spawning. But yeah. So yeah, you know, I got all the weapons that I need for now. If Anton keeps... Ooh, wait a minute. I think it was this one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, as long as uh, there are new, new weapons added, I might keep all these. But you never know, with H3VR, Anton could add more. And uh, I have to change some of my selections here. But, yeah, those are all the weapons so far. And, uh, hey, you know, I mean, it's not limited to one each. I mean, that's just a limitation I put on myself. If I wanted to, I could go and, uh, let's say, take a different weapon <clears throat> like the... Oh, no, nope, uh, hold on, where am I going here? No, I don't want to go there. Let's say I wanted to, instead of... Like, just having one PDW, I could have the Honey Badger as well, you know, so it doesn't really matter. But that's just the thing that I like to do. I like to keep one weapon per category, you know. And uh, that's my loadout for anything. Until An until Anton decides to add some more weapons, which is... I mean, it's bound to happen. There's probably going to be more weapons later on. And more categories, so... I might do something else later. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when the return of the Rot Wieners update comes out tomorrow, which is going to, it, so far it looks pretty good, especially with the new bangers and stuff. Yeah, that, oh, that's not the right button. I wanted to fire this thing. Do I have the ammunition? Oh, it's over there. But, yeah, I'll see you guys when that comes out. I'm just going to... <laughs> Grab this. <laughs> I always love doing that. But yeah, so anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully the update comes out with no problems. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. <laughs>